What's up, YouTube? This is Dragon, and this is another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. So, let's get to the battle at hand. Well, I'm gonna have to say on this team, the Pokemon that I fear the most is... Uh, probably the Phenosaur, because the Phenosaur can do a lot of damage to the team. Now, I do have a, um... I do have Crobat coming out first, so there we go. I have Crobat coming out first, so my opponent is already on the ropes. Alright, Johnny Crobat, let's see what you can do. One Brave Bird can take out this Pokemon, but I'm almost, I'm not going to say certain that my opponent may have the Skarmory, but if my opponent does, then I'm feeling pretty good, and you'll see why soon enough. Alright, so, we're going to go straight for the Brave Bird, and we, oh, my opponent Mega Evolves. I don't think my opponent is prepared for what's going to happen next, so... Can the Brave Bird Oko, a Mega Venusaur, Choice Bandit, Brave Bird, Destruction, get some, alright, so we are back in the game, baby, or oh, we already came in the game, alright, so, my opponent's next Pokemon to send out is going to be this Talon Flame, so with that, I'm very happy that I decided to instead put Rotom on my team as opposed to having my Gengar on my team because that just would have put me at a severely unnecessary disadvantage and let's see, let's see, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt pretty much covers this whole team so yes, Thunderbolt will be the move that we will go for and let's see, yes, Thunderbolt it is. Yes, my opponent can't do anything to resist this. And okay, you go for a will o -Wisp, that's fine. I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt and kill you like it's a crime. So, is that going to be an Oko? Yes, it's going to be an Oko. No crits necessary, just complete utter destruction. Alright, so who's going to be your last Pokemon that you're going to choose? It's going to be the Azumaro. All right, so uh, let's see. This is the Azumaro. So the only thing my opponent can do is wait. I do have Gengar on this team. What's wrong with me? Well, as you guys know, I also have the Destiny Bond on my Gengar. So it does not matter what this Azumaro does, because oh, forget Destiny Bond. I have the um, the Focus Sash. So. Good to go and good to go. All right, T-Bolt. What will this do to Azumarill? Most likely will not kill it, but up oh, you can't belly drum, but you might have the citrus berry. Whoa, weakness policy. You don't see that every day. So that's a knockoff, knocking off Rotom's item. Wow, check that out. That you do not see every day. That is definitely different. All right, so now, we're going to give Gengar some play because Gengar needs to get up in there. Let's get Gengar into this battle. All right. So from that, we're going to just go for a Shadow Ball because why not? I could just go for a Sludge Bomb, but who needs to go for a Sludge Bomb? I don't think I've... Yes, I have used Shadow Ball before, but you know. All right. So that's the Aqua Jet knocking my Gengar to his Sash. And now this Shadow Ball should... Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, 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 that's right. That's right, Shadow Ball is a ghost type move. Okay, I was thinking of my, wait a minute, wait a minute, did I just do something stupid? It's a fairy type, no. If it was a dark type move, then it wouldn't have been very effective, and I would have felt like a complete idiot. But, that wasn't the case, and we're going to have another battle again, because why not? Let's see. All right. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes, we will continue battling. And the battle box. All right. Now, 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 now. That was one heck of a battle. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Just like one hit KOs everywhere. Yeah, I think Focus Sash Gengar is the best Gengar. Seriously. Because Focus Sash, like, like... Focus Sash Gengar, it's like you just can't, you always get an attack. You always get some sort of advantage. Okay, so let me print that screen real quick. And let's see. 
All right, who should I choose for this? Let's see. Kong Kelder is already looking pretty good for this team. But I am thinking about the... Um... Let's see. You know who would be a good... Hmm... The best, but you know what? I'm expecting Rotom. So you know what? I'm gonna choose Crobat first. I'm gonna choose Crobat first, cause Crobat would definitely have a good advantage in for like most of these Pokemon here. So I'm gonna choose Crobat, and then for the um, let's see, Amoongus would be good for the um, uh, the Heracross. Let's see, Rotom, or Gengar, or Slowbro. Let's see, how about Rotom? No, no, Conkelder. Conkelder, yeah. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. Conkelder is looking pretty good. So let's see. Or maybe Rotom. Okay, we're definitely going to pick Amoongus. Even though it's just Rotom that I'm kind of... I know my opponent's going to pick Rotom, so that's why I have Amoongus. Um, and, you know, the vote switching and all that other stuff. So let's see, how about Conkelder? Um, Conkelder, 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 yeah, 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 Conkelder should be able to cover the rest of the, of the team more or less pretty well. No, actually, you know what, Rotom is looking, Rotom is looking like the better choice here, not Conkelder. But you know what, I'm just gonna choose Conkelder anyway. Screw it. Let's go. Let's go for Conkelder. Conkelder needs some play too. All right, so let's get into this battle. All right. So, wonder what my opponent's gonna choose first. It's, I hope it's not the Rotom, and I hope it's every other Pokemon besides the Rotom. Seriously. I mean, it's probably gonna be the Rotom because, you know, Rotoms typically come out first. So, it's this Pokemon, okay. All right, that's, I guess that's not too bad. So let's see. With that, I'm just going to go straight for the Brave Bird. Uh, also, this Pokemon can be Scarfed, but I'm not worried about that too much. So, let's see. Um, Alright. So, let's see. Pokemon, Amoongus, Conkeldo. Yeah. We're going to go for the Brave Bird right off the bat. This Pokemon could also have, like, you know, Flame Body and all that other stuff. But we're going to see how much Brave Bird does to a Magmortar. Will it be a one-hit KO? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. That's what I'm talking about. Destruction. Ah, what you gonna do now, Rotom? Where are you at, baby? All right. So, of course, he's gonna go for the T-Bolt, most likely, or the Hydro Pump. You know, so... I got my Moongus out for you. All right. So, let's see what you got. All right. So, it's going to be the Amoongus, and that's the T-Bolt. Not worried about the T-Bolt whatsoever. And let's see. All right. So, now, either my opponent is going to stay in or switch. So, if my opponent decides to switch, then I'm just going to go for the Spore. And there we go. My opponent decided to switch, and whoever my opponent switches into is going to go to sleep. So that is a spore on the Heracross. So I am definitely crossing the path of this Heracross, and it is in the worst possible situation because it is asleep. So with that, we're just gonna throw out a couple of sludge bombs because why not? Sludge Bomb away. Match was forfeited. Ah, oh, man. That was complete utter domination, baby. Ah! Wow. That, that was great, man. Ah, oh, man. That was great. I'm glad that I could share a battle like that with you guys. Two battles of complete obliteration. Domination. Ah, oh, man, that was greatness. Pure greatness. Yes. Well, my fellow Dragonites, I'm glad that you guys enjoy these battles, and as you know, there will be many more battles like these in the future. Well, see you later.